Cuba, and then uh, I think that'll be it for me. I guess everybody's got a favourite, and as far as I'm concerned, my favourite in the 500 class, bright-wise, has to be the Kajiva. And that's for a couple of reasons, because it's so good to see somebody at last giving the Japanese a bit of a hard time. That's one reason. The other reason is, if you have a good look at this bike, the attention to detail is quite unbelievable. See, for example, this little bit down here, all it does is keep the rider's foot from sort of getting jammed up with a master cylinder. Now they could make that out of a piece of aluminium, probably cost them 20 cents, take about five minutes to make, instead of which good old Kajivas have made it out of carbon fibre. Now with carbon fibre, what they have to do first is make up a mould and then lay the, the carbon fibre over the mould, stick it in the oven, cook it and God knows what else. So something that could have cost 20 cents, I would imagine minimum cost of that would be about $1,500. Up here, you see the wire on the end of the twist grip and the reason for that is if you ever get in a big tank slapper, a tank slapper means if the handlebars really wobble when you hit a bump, what could happen is that the handlebar grip would come off in your hand which would be quite embarrassing and very dangerous. So what you do, you just put the lock wire around the end of it and normally you put lock wire up at the top. What happens sometimes though, you get at the end of the lock wire and it digs in your fingers. What could Jeeva have done They've made this little handlebar grip here. They've molded a special grip with a little sort of track round there. So you put the wire inside the track and there's no possibility to dig in your fingers. I mean, it's quite amazing. And you look around the bike, the way that it's made and the way that it looks, you know, it can't be anything else but Italian.